things we expect with some. <laughs> Yo, girl, girl, come over here. You wanna come to my place later? <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Oh my God, Kitty is naked on stream. Oh my God, naked Kitty. Oh God, hi guys. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to turn yourself into a baddie, even if you're having the worst skin issues in your whole life. Yes, it's true. It's possible. Don't worry. You can go from looking like this, that's the thumbnail for my YouTube, to what I'm gonna turn myself into. <laughs> when you gotta turn yourself into a Twitch baddie, honey, that's live. And you can only add so many LUDs to make yourself look beautiful. Oh wow, my aesthetic is so off today. Give me a second. Okay, how to turn yourself into an uh, Instagram buddy. Distract everybody from your face with a nice background aesthetic. How are you gonna notice the fact that I'm stress breaking out when my background looks like this? It's great. I really gotta start with, um, I don't believe that we need makeup to make people like us, okay? Uh, I think it is really beautiful when people are confident with or without makeup. And I am, like, I feel very confident with or without makeup. Like, here I am, hello. I'm uh, without makeup a lot on my Instagram. Um, but I still think that makeup is really, really fun. And uh, if it helps you feel more comfortable for now, uh, like, go for it, do that. I love you and appreciate you whether you wear makeup or not. And a lot of people have been requesting how I do my makeup. But yeah, don't, don't do makeup to be someone you're not. Like, learn to love and embrace who you are and appreciate that person. And and use makeup for for fun and to try on new looks and i think things like contacts and wigs and clothing and makeup are all ways to have fun and express yourself and um i love the idea i was talking to a friend about tattoos and she said like from when she was young she always like saw herself as someone that had a lot of tattoos and every time she gets a tattoo she feels more like herself and um if you use makeup and hair and contacts and clothing uh, to feel more like yourself, go for it. I love you and I accept you no matter how you express yourself or choose to express yourself. Okay, let's get into it. Yes. So I grew up my whole life. Not I was that girl that everyone hated, not hated, was annoyed with in middle and high school because I would never break out. I had clear skin until last year. Last year when I went off all birth control and I took out my IUD and I was just a free woman, I think puberty hit because my skin decided to start breaking out. Uh, hormonal acne on my chin right now because it's TMI, I'm on my period right now. And uh, I think this is digestion. Uh, acne here so it's still balancing it's still balancing um but yeah i've got i'm 26 years old and i have acne <laughs> so i'm learning to embrace it especially as someone who's like i have to be on camera every single day sometimes it can get frustrating but the more i stress out the more i break out it is a vicious cycle so i've just learned to love and embrace and i know that you guys are gonna love and embrace and appreciate too okay First thing I'm gonna use is my favorite primer. It's a mineral primer. It's their Mineral Veil um, by Hourglass. I love it. You don't need very much. Um, and why I use this is it just adds like a really, really nice layer of um, smoothness. A layer of smoothness. I don't know how I, I would just, I just feel like my foundation goes on so much better now. Mm. And since I have a, my, my newfound adult acne, um, I do wear foundation. I didn't used to wear foundation, but now I wear foundation and then it makes my skin worse and it's a vicious cycle. So I'm working on it, okay? I don't have the solution yet. As soon as I have the solution, I'll get back to you, I promise. Okay, so this is like actually my favorite product though. Um, I didn't get it, normally I get it one lighter than this. This is just light. There's one even lighter, um, but I'm pretty pale. No, my eyes, these are my natural eyes. Hi, I have a brown spot in that one. Do you see it? Okay. So this is my favorite product. Uh, it's the Maybelline Age One Wine. It's really, really cheap, and it's just a great concealer. And before my skin looked like this, I would I wouldn't use foundation. I would just use this because it's kind of fun to like highlight with, and it's an easy applicator. So here we are. Um, and so how I use it is under the eyes. Okay. Okay. 
And see, it's way too dark for me right now, but we're gonna we're gonna look like a tan shishar today, okay? Uh, and then, <laughs> where do I start? These are all healing, by the way. These are old. They just need to heal. They take time. I do use the illuminating one. They were out of it. Straya, they were out of it when I went to farmers farmers market. The farmers. <laughs> I go to the farmers market to get my kids. No, actually, I think there's some makeup brands there that are like you know healthy and. Sh oh my god! Wow, it's like it's like she has perfect skin now. And then I go spot spot. Spot, spot, spot. Don't know where these came from. Oh my god. Wow, Kitty. Wow, in a single second. You just have such clear skin and you look like you had a great restful sleep last night. Wow. Oh my god, let's see. Look at streamer's ears, okay? First rule of being a streamer is you cannot enjoy earrings, okay? I used to love earrings. I used to wearing them all the time. But after I became a streamer and had to have a headset on for like 14 to 16 hours every day, like, uh, I can't wear earrings anymore. Feels bad, man. Okay, everyone's all about, oh, Razor's finally coming out with a pink headset. Thank you, Razor, though. Those are actually really dope. I like the new color because they're not such bright pink. It's more of like a pastel pink, which I'm here for. Okay, I want your mouse pad. Send it to me. It looks great. But what I really, really need in my life is really cool gaming in-ear headphones that are wireless. Like, I don't need the surround sound ear. We've got great technology of ear pods. Give that to me, okay? And then I'll wear beautiful earrings and I'll have a dope ass ear pod. Maybe uh, anyone wanna invest in my new ear gaming ear pod firm? Thank you, okay? Uh, I need a $1 billion sent in Bitcoin to uh, the number down below. Gracias. <laughs> So, not really sure what color my skin is. Um, I'm going for Casper White, but I'm not quite Casper White because I've had a lot of sun damage. So I'm like just a little bit off of Casper White. So we're gonna go with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the color 3.75, great name by the way. Um, and Makeup Forever Ultra HD in the color doesn't have a name on it. So this, these two in approximate, one's dark, one's light, but we're just gonna do one. Okay, so what I've been doing, when I'm in Tulum, this is Tulum, this is Vancouver. I'm fresh out of Tulum into Vancouver, mix them together. It's like, you always need to have two colors because like for all of us that, you know, travel and hustle, plus I really, really like that, like now that they're getting a little bit low, they're getting a little dry. So I feel like when I mix them together, they just like, just like speak to each other and they just, they're just best friends, okay? Like, Giorgio Armani and the Lumin- And yes, I'm using my hands. Okay, this is another thing. <laughs> another thing that you need to know me, like, I am like the laziest high maintenance person. Okay, so as you can see, since I'm like breaking out through the, like, crazy, um, and if I wanna be a Twitch baddie, clearly I want people focusing on my gameplay and not my breakouts. So we're just gonna go in with a little bit more concealer. Okay, that's as close as we're gonna be able to cover things. Next, we're gonna go in with my Laura Mercier foundation. Typically, I don't need this, but like for some reason lately, I've just been noticing that, oh, probably because I'm on my period, that things just be getting a little bit extra, just a little bit extra fresh. Um, Cause I think my, my sebum glands be highly producing. So we're just gonna go on the forehead, down the nose. I don't bake or anything like that. Like I'm, I'm telling you, I'm like, this is the laziest makeup look for the max re rewards. Let's go natural. I love going natural. I do both. But today I'm showing you how I go not natural. <laughs> Let's get it, okay? We do both. We do both. We do both. I'm showing you it all, okay? Okay, now we're taking my other favorite product, my Charlotte Tilbury. Bless El Grand, who's in the chat right now for telling me about it. Also, this Tom Ford brush is like literally life. I need to clean it. Let's just not judge my sanitary this today okay uh and then i take this brush and i just do this i've got already have like pretty strong cheekbones but um when you're on twitch and you're on camera it's really important that you recognize that <laughs> twitch is like this nice way of like making you look here i'll put my ring light on just to stress this point a really nice way of making you look like a petite blanc balloon so we very white big balloon so all of the like you almost need to over contour if you actually want your contour to show up but my community really doesn't care about me being too contoured so i just like to do a little light under the cheekbone yeah it literally adds so much weight and so much paleness uh so a little bit under the cheekbone 
you know, pronounce those like my mom's nice big cheeks that she's gracefully given me and my, my nice <laughs> check jawline. So I go like this. Yeah, just like a little nice little blend. Corner of the forehead, down the cheekbone, and then down the jawline. Go back in on the other side. Okay. At that freaking cheekbone. Get it, okay? I want to kill bots and game with this cheekbone. Okay, here we are. So we've got the doo doo. Okay, doo doo. Uh, and then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little brush. This brush used to have a base, but then my beautiful dog Yuri chewed the shit out of it. And now we don't have one. I just use this and I take a little bit of the highlight, pat it off. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to focus that. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. I'm going to have to bring my, my mirror in soon. Hang on. Okay. Oh, wait. No, we, we can go a little bit. <laughs> we can do a little bit more. We're going to be glowing on stream today, okay? All, we're going to be blinding those bots in Fortnite. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and then uh, a little bit of extra highlight because, like, ugh, highlight is life. You just take this brush, or it's just a brush. doesn't matter. I like it because it's, like, wide. It's, like, perfect for the nose highlights. You just take it, and you go, dee, 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 dee. Dee, 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 dee. And then I do on my lip because mm, 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 mm. baby, I want to be pouting at those bots. They'd be like, oh, she's so cute. And then I go pew pew and they dead. Okay, it's easy game. And then just up the center of the nose. Okay. Oh, sh Oof. if you're trying to follow along, so we've highlighted our cheekbones uh, up here. Okay. Tips of our nose. Pew pew. Our upper lip. Boo boo. Center of our nose. Little bit in between the eyebrows, eyebrow bones, and then the inside of here. And you know what? I'm feeling like a little bit of nose contour too, just because I'm a petit blanc balloon. And then we're gonna do a little bit on the base of my nose, just because otherwise it blends in. And we're gonna go up one side, up the other side. Ever since I got headbutted by a horse, my nose is a little bit crooked. But we just learn to love that and just pretend that no, none of these super, super critical kids that watch my stream notice it when they do all the time. And then I just ignore their comment and I go, <laughs> I've been no. Okay, so this is the look with no eye makeup and no lips. And my eyebrows are old, so I'm gonna have to fix those. Okay, so my, set, my other favorite product is this brow, Gimme Brow Plus by Benefit. I just love it because literally I used to use like the Anastasia pencil and all these things, but I love that this is like, it makes my, it, all it does is just make the hairs that I already have darker. And then what I do is I just go brush, brush, brush. You guys like my sound effects? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm gonna put on an outfit too, okay? Like this is supposed to be like my potato in Twitch baddie and then we're gonna just like up it all the way. I'm gonna curl my hair too, okay? Like, I just like love looking like a fucking beauty queen for pain scrims, okay? Like what? <laughs> I just love looking like a, like a dime. So when I kill the 13 year old kids in pain trios and they go to my stream and they're like, damn, I just got killed by a dime. And that's pretty much what I'm like working my whole life towards. So like, if I, if I get one of those a day, like, I'm satisfied in life, so it's just, you know, life satisfaction looks different for everybody. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna do the other eyebrow. And so pretty much what you do is you just brush upwards to this point, and then you brush down. Um, I've got really nice natural shaped eyebrows. If you don't, go to a really, really good a waxer and she will take care of you. But please make sure that she's really, really good and always stem on the end of fullness over not fullness. And if you've got really sh eyebrows, go look at getting microblading. You will thank me later. You know why they look red right now? I think it's the filter I have on my camera, which by the way, I'm gonna be selling my LUTs really, really soon for Twitch. Cause like hashtag hustle, get that money girl. Okay, from all the other girls that wanna look this fresh without makeup. Yes, those LUTs though. Uh. Okay, I'm working on it. Sell those lights, okay? Frag those small peens, okay? Do whatever you gotta do to live your best life, okay? Wait, I have a quote for you guys. Where the heck is my phone? Are you listening? Joy is not meant to be a crumb, 
Mary Oliver. No, it is not. Ladies and gentlemen, we are meant to eat the whole loaf of our lives, to chew it completely so it can really nourish us, so our whole bodies take in every flavor, sunbeam, and breeze. Thank God for those great minds like Mrs. Oliver who took the time to be where they were, to capture it with words, and to remind us not to miss where we are when we are there. Okay? I don't want a crumb, okay? I want the whole damn loaf. And if you guys are celiac, you want the whole damn gluten-free loaf, okay? Get it, okay? We're not going halfway. We're not going 1%. We're going all the way 100, and we're owning it, and we're allowing others to own it by owning it and being an example of owning it, okay? Okay? Yes. Okay, it's time for the eyes. Let's get it. So this is when I show you guys my very beautiful modern medicine. <laughs> Every time I do these on stream, I'm so <laughs> high quality. This is literally though the best palette, especially if you have blue eyes. This is the best palette, okay? And I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't come like this. <laughs> it doesn't come like this, okay? I have a dog, her name is Yuri, and just like she loves beauty blenders, she loves this felt, okay, yum yum. And so my dog, my like literally the within the first week, my dog ate it. But like, I've used this shit a lot, like this is, oh. <sighs> Dug into love letter, <laughs> is that bad karma? Oh no, hang on. Okay, so we're gonna take, I think this might be my friend's, but it ended up in my makeup kit. I don't think it's Elle's, but I think it's Lacey's. Lacey, I'm bringing this back to you. I'm sorry, it's, I have it. <laughs> I took it. <laughs> Not intentionally, it was just, you know how girls are when you get ready, things fall into people's things, and I'm sorry, it's yours, but it's a great brush. This Marc Jacobs blending brush. Um, <laughs> warm taupe. Okay, so we're gonna take it. The way that my eyes are, okay, actually, like, can I please just, like, hear all the women and men in the chat describe what eye shape they have? Um, so my eye shape is hooded and caveman. <laughs> okay, this is an announcement. Okay, actually, I have something to share with you guys. <laughs> Okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. You know, like when you just start giggling and you, okay, wait, let me finish the other side so I don't look that weird when I try and explain this to you guys. Okay, let me tell you something. When I was younger, I was like really upset of the way I looked. Like, granted, don't get me wrong, I was like very like, oh, you know, I'm, you know, I'm gonna learn to love this. Okay, but I think we're all, we all go through a state where we're like very insecure. Oh, I have great skin except for my breakouts right now, but this is all stress. This is gonna go away. Anyways. Um, and I'm like, oh man, I really don't like want to look like this because like I like looking like this, but I'm not like loving it. So what I learned <laughs> is about facial exercises and uh, it's hard to do it now because my muscles are so strong. But when my, <laughs> when my face is relaxed, that's why I don't like watching my gameplay videos because you guys have already seen this. Like my, <laughs> so my, my, my eyes, like naturally my eyebrows want to sit like this okay i'm not joking like i look like a fucking neanderthal pepe the frog okay they want to sit like this and so i'd like look at myself in the mirror growing up i'm like man i look like perpetual like bitch, uh cave woman face like what's going on why do i look like this like how did i come out of the womb looking like this like i was like pretty upset about it <laughs> not gonna lie but what i learned is okay it's all about the facial muscle muscles. So you see that, bitch? Okay, I just went from Viking Neanderthal to, <laughs> to like, you know, three tenths of the way to Victoria's Secret Queen. Okay, okay, I know. So here, okay, let me talk to you, mama. <laughs> I'm not joking. Okay, so like this is natural, but what you do is you pull your ears back. I'm not joking. I give myself, a, I'm constant, perpetually giving myself a facelift. You pull your eyebrows back, so you want, like you think of your going up and back, okay? So like this is normal. Yo, girl, mm, girl, come over here. You won't come to my place later? <laughs> no, that's not gonna work. It's just not gonna work. It's just not gonna work. And you know, I don't know why I'm trying to get girls to come over in my place in that situation. <laughs>
So listen, okay? Has anyone here watched has anyone here watched One Punch Man? Anyone here? Raise your hands. You know that scene where he's like, for ten for a hundred days I did a hundred push-ups and a hundred sit-ups and a hundred squats and I ran 10k or whatever. Okay, so for my entire life I have been raising my eyebrows and lifting my bridge. So <laughs> for my entire life, since I was 15, I've been doing surprised eyebrows. So you go up, out. So what you're doing is I'm con there's one muscle, it's right here. I'm constantly pulling it up. So if you're like, hi, it's me, Kitty. Nice to see you. Not Neanderthal. It's now surprise happy kitty. I'm not joking, it works. Okay, so if you can't do it, start working it out. It's like PC muscles. It's like the multi-orgasmic man, okay? You keep trying, you keep working, and one day you look in the mirror and you're like, damn, girl, you just got out of the cave into the jungle, okay? You on your way to the waterfalls. It's gonna be great. Okay, everyone caught up? Is it time for some more eye shadow? Shall we? So, we've blended this warm taupe color into the crease and now i'm going to take the red ochre because girl i'm about to show you if you've got blue eyes and you put some red on your eyes and you put some gold on your eyes you're gonna make them pop okay red ochre for the ogre <laughs> you guys are so funny this is so fun okay let's blend that on blend it in let's get it all in there okay so i put some red in there now i'm gonna go back with the warm taupe we should have done that after. We're gonna blend them together. A blend, a blend, a blend, a blend. I just gonna put gold in the center. Yep, a little bit of a little bit of freshness, and have it come a little bit onto the red. And there we have it. Yes. Okay. Kristen's lazy part is done. Now we're gonna curl our eyelashes. If this would remain focused on me, that would be great. Yes. Welcome back. Okay. Uh, I have a mirror down here. I'm looking down. Yeah, curling eyelashes changes lives, everybody. So this is also my favorite product. This is the Tom Ford um, double-ended thing. This one broke for some reason. I think the top came off and then I just went crazy. So the small end, but normally you'd have a small end and a big end. Okay, it looked like this. One of the little hairs is flying away on me, but like, here we go. Okay, so. How I do it, the first line that I always draw is one, this is gonna take me longer, normally I can do it really quick, is um, going out the bottom, and then I draw it to the center, and then I connect this over and draw it in. Okay. <laughs> There's one. Yep, I think I got it. Okay, we did it. Uh, now we're gonna do mascara. Okay, now my favorite mascara is the roller lash. Someone told me that they have roller eyeliner now and I really wanna try that, so I'm gonna add that. Yeah, I can do this in five minutes. Uh, when I talk through it, it takes longer and I feel like there's more pressure for me to do it well. Yeah, you can, yeah, Elle will tell you. I'm like the fastest getting ready, readier ever. Okay. Mm, so I don't even really need eyelashes today, I don't think. I was gonna wear them, but my like lashes look pretty funny. So um, I'm gonna take a little bit of antique bronze and I'm actually gonna go do a little bit of this in here today. I don't always do this because sometimes it makes my eyes look really small. I'm kind of feeling it today. Yeah, I like that. Mm, yeah, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of tempura. Okay. Uh, we're almost there guys. Uh, I'm almost out of this. This is Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go put an outfit on. And by outfit, I mean I'm gonna change into a tank top and then I'll be back. <laughs> One sec. All right. Anyways guys, that is the full tutorial on how to look like a Twitch baddie. Okay, this is a little low. Um, and I just want to leave you guys with the mention of 
right back to the beginning it does not matter how you choose to express yourself learn what makes you feel the best whether it's makeup on hair uh, a cool outfit um having your teeth out <laughs> wearing bright colors or wearing hoodies and pajamas with your hair up in a ponytail no matter how you choose to express yourself i love you i appreciate you and it's start i think it's time to start start showing the world that the gaming women are extremely dynamic we are very special we have lots of different aspects to us that make us special and start figuring that out what makes you special and what you can bring to the Twitch community and how you can change the meta and how you can improve on it and explore it and find your own special spot in this community because it's incredibly kind, it's incredibly loving. There is enough abundance and success for everybody to be part of this community. Whether you're a streamer, a caster, you can do creative, you can do gameplay, you can do IRL, or you can just be part of a community and meet friends like these. It doesn't matter. Um, there's room for all of us. And I love you and I appreciate you. And if you're a new streamer and you're starting out, let me know. I might stop by your stream sometime. You can leave your name in the comments. And uh, yeah, I love you guys and I accept you no matter how you choose to play this Twitch game and express yourself in life. An amazing day. Bye.